Hello everyone. Welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time I'm going to improve our character death effect. So last time we left our tutorial session in somewhere that I had a null reference problem and also even after my character the enemy character is dead i can still hit him so but in this demonstration i have fixed that so that after the character is dead uh, my sword does not hit him so those are the things i am going to work on today all right let's get started okay so the first problem I am going to solve is this one. So when I kill a character, like this, okay now he's dead and if I attack again, uh, you can see that uh, still my attacks, uh, this enemy character get hit by my attacks even though he's on the ground also i get this error warning uh, error report this one so access none type trying to read property get controller value so that happens here in my ch human blueprint this is where i kill the character and this is my health variable if you are not clear about this you can refer to the previous video so what i'm doing is when my health is below zero i disable the actor tick and make the controller of this character unpossess and and wait why have I done this because when this is when the health is uh, lower than zero it should play the falling back dead animation and make it ready and also after that this part should take place well but how did this work well, actually I'm not sure it should be like this and I should disable this part altogether. Okay, but I'm still not sure how did that work. All right, now let's check again if this guy still get died, get killed. Oh. Right, and we still have the same problem. Let's see, I get that error also. No, I don't get that error. All right. So yeah, and I should do something like this instead of the because this character should die only once. Therefore, I'll add a do once node here, and then. I should fix that getting hit part so it is right here on weapon hit mm. now actually I should prevent this guy registering as a an enemy at first place right so to prevent this guy getting hit after he's dead first I should make sure that this guy is not registered as an enemy when attacking when my character attacks so this is where I get the closest enemy right here and here so actually I did this pass some time ago at the beginning of my melee combat series so 
If you are not clear, you can refer to those videos. I hope you remember this part. So here what I am doing is I do a trace of trace for objects, a sphere trace, and then I get the get a list of surrounding objects, actors, and then I check if they are enemies of my team according to the team number that I have defined. So yeah, if that uh, if they are uh, if they are an enemy then I get the closest one and I attack him by looking at him and then I attack him and also I select him as the target so yeah you can refer to previous video to get no explanations on that right so here so uh, so far I only check if this guy is an enemy the next thing I should check is I should check if that guy is dead so I don't have an is dead function defined just like this one in my BPI character but I can do something like this I can uh, if the character is dead then I can return false to this is enemy function so that he is not an enemy anymore something like that okay so I'll go to my is enemy function which I have defined here and this one and so I'll do an end here and I need is dead and not is dead so right so is enemy is checked like this our team numbers should be different and also this guy that we are checking should not be dead so only when these two conditions are satisfied this guy will be marked or represented as an enemy so right so now I think this should work now let's see don't go away okay now he's dead and unfortunately I am still get this hit so why is that let's check right here I rotate to the closest enemy this is where I get my locked enemy and right okay the problem is even if I don't get an enemy a closest enemy in this part if I have already saved uh, an enemy character or actor into this closest enemy variable then it would remain so that's why I still have a closest enemy object there and I see that blood splashes so that the enemy character is getting hit so I can fix it like this I can set closest enemy right here without any reference so that there would be no enemy character actor okay now also I think I have made a small mistake here and uh, right right here so is dead uh, so here I check if the health is smaller or equal to zero and but in my 
update health function I check if it is uh, smaller than zero so I should do the same right here as well not just smaller smaller or equal to zero okay now let's check right now I can't hit him anymore and because he's dead okay so that's uh, all I wanted to show you today and in the next episode I'll work on enabling ragdolls for this character because uh, as you can see if I enable the toggle debug camera I can move right here and you can see this character is floating on the ground so if I enable ragdolls I can fix that problem so yeah let's work on that in the next episode and also I need to detach this sword so that it will be it will fall on the ground freely and maybe later I can make my character pick up that sword or something like that alright so that's all for today and project files will be available in my patreon page and if you want you can download them as well and see you in the next video goodbye